Tomorrow, March 11th, is finally the grand opening of Iron Gwazi, the brand new roller coaster here at Busch Gardens Tampa Bay. We're here the day before for a little event tonight to celebrate the grand opening and also get a bit of a preview for their food and wine festival that starts this weekend. But we're also annual pass holders here at Busch Gardens, so we came out a few hours early to stroll around the park, maybe ride a few rides and enjoy it before tonight's festivities. Chikra was down for a while where they were doing some work on the track and that is back open. Before the park closes for the day, today guests, we're gonna hop on Cobra's Curse. I love this coaster. Almost like we're riding the mummy. It's a cool theme. The Cobra. This used to be an attraction. There was a walkthrough attraction. He calls on all the snakes of the earth. Here it is. This is the cool part. I've asked Asia like a dozen times. Come see what you've done. Thank you. We've got a statue crazy here, people. Last time I rode this, this room was packed with people. It's kind of cool seeing it like this. All right, this is a straight up walk on. All right, we are about to hop on. I like this moving walkway. Whoa. Okay. Are you yeah. ready? Riding coasters in the rain. It's a fun job. Yeah, thankfully it stopped raining, so we can hop on this one. But we're both pretty thoroughly soaked. <laughs> but here we go. We've got the whole Egyptian. coasters where you do not put your belongings in a locker you kind of just put them here but you got to still <laughs> hold on to them how's my hair gonna look for the uh, event tonight so if you see right here how this ride is your ride vehicle starts you see that like tall tower right there your ride vehicle starts and gets lifted up in that tower and then there it is it's going down you see that and there's Montu. wow and it spins, so look, it got transferred up, it goes into the Cobra, and then it goes on a wild spinning adventure. Really fun. 
there's a secret trick bathroom mirror here. I'm gonna try it one more time and press this. And that's located in the restrooms right here next to Cobra's Curse and Montu, and it's super cool. Possibly doing a little bit of shopping too. What? Look at these beauties, I love them. Okay, that's proceed to security. Once the park closed for the day, we came outside, checked back in, and now we're going back in for the evening event. It's such a pretty park to be in at night, and normally it closes early, so you don't often get to see it at night except during special events. And we are in nighttime at Bush Gardens, Tampa. There's Iron Quasi at night. It looks so cool. Oh, we can't wait for a night ride. Woo! Looks like we're starting out with a little champagne. Thank you. All right, this is really cool. We're gonna try to get up near the stage because there's gonna be a welcome ceremony. We've got a stage set up here. Iron Guasi is lit up all beautifully. They've given us each a glass of champagne. There's like a green glowing button there. There's gonna be some kind of opening ceremony in just a few moments. All right, good evening and welcome to Bush Gardens Tampa Bay. Please join me, yeah, right? A, a round of applause, please. We are so excited to have you all here tonight. <laughs> Thank you. Please join me in welcoming to the stage the president of Bush Gardens and Adventure Island, Neil Thurman. Good evening, everybody. Woo! You excited? Yeah. The wait is almost over. Welcome to the opening celebration of the most highly anticipated roller coaster, Iron Gwazi. Yeah! Woo! It is our pleasure to welcome you to Busch Gardens tonight, where you can experience the thrill of the world's fastest, steepest hybrid roller coaster and the tallest hybrid roller coaster in North America. Woo! Busch Gardens is dedicated to providing experiences that matter and inspire our guests to protect animals and the wild wonders of the world. Created by our wonderful partners at Rocky Mountain Construction, Iron Grozzy is an experience you will never forget. After reaching the top of the 206 foot tall lift hill behind me, Iron Grozzy dives down a 91 degree drop, reaching speeds of 76 miles per hour. There's some excited people up there. <laughs> With 12 heart pounding airtime moments and three inversions, Iron Grozzy is a nonstop <laughs> action packed thrill machine. As part of our mission, to inspire guests to protect animals and the wild wonders of the world. <laughs> they haven't even on the ride yet. I'm a little worried about those first riders. <laughs> we are honored to have the Wilderness Foundation Africa as our first official conservation partner for the most highly anticipated coaster of the year, Iron Gwazi. The Wild Foundation is a US-based, globally focused, not-for-profit, originally founded in South Africa. Please welcome to the stage, Vance Martin. Thank you, Neil. Welcome. Okay, so I have an admission here. Um, I went on my ride this afternoon, and I can tell you it's frigging awesome. Yeah! You know, it's science, it's policy, it's protection, but it's, it's the future, it's the next generation. And this is what the Conservation Fund has a, has, has, uh, supported. So I want to say thank you to the Conservation Fund and Bush Gardens and thank you to you. Bless you. Our ambassadors make the difference and I am honored to work alongside each of them. <laughs> to the hundreds of people who have worked on Iron Gwazi and everything we have done to bring this incredible attraction to life, I thank you. And now, we are just moments away from launching our first official riders to kick off tonight's celebration. <laughs> on board, representing the many heroes on the front lines of the global pandemic, please welcome our partners from Tampa General Hospital. <laughs> so I got a question for you. Are you ready to release the beast? Yeah! With the push of that button. Oh. Iron Quasi will officially be open. Woo! So please join me in a countdown from 10. Nine, 10, 
nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Iron Quasi. Enjoy the night. So they are allowing us to sample some of the food and wine, food and drinks, and hopefully we will get to do that tonight. But first, we want a night ride. We're gonna go get this night ride. Wonderful, high Woo! Here's the locker situation. This is going in, but my GoPro with wrist strap is going with us. The footage might be a little dark because it's nighttime, but I'm gonna bring you along for this night ride with us. Oh boy, looks like everybody had the same idea. <laughs> You will survive! Since this is our first time riding at night, I've never seen the station all lit up. They've got these projections of like bamboo up on the ceiling. Really, really cool. The whole station is gator green with gator prints. The track is lit up all blue and it's alternating between blue and purple tonight. It is so dark riding a coaster like this that is so wild and scary in the dark, like in all that honeycomb of wood. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. I'm so excited. We can also see the video playing up here that gives some facts about the ride and shows a little POV footage. does offer a ride photo. It's really fun, it's in a great spot. Oh, nice, okay, cool, yeah, that's it. All right, after that night ride. That made me hungry and thirsty, and I was screaming. Oh my gosh, that night ride really, really got me good. 
but now we are sampling some of the food from their upcoming food and wine festival. I've attended this festival every year, so I've got mac and cheese, some cauliflower, some roast beef, a lovely roll. I really like the food and wine festival here at Bush Gardens. They have a lot of really nice options. They have entertainment, concerts, shows. They make it a really fun event, and so that's why I attend every year, and we'll make sure to attend again as well. Tonight's just like a little preview of some of the food. The roast beef is good. Mm. The mac and cheese is exquisite. I know from past years they've had like bowls and you can add like meat and like bacon and different things to them, but just plain, it's that thick kind of really like thick creamy mac and cheese. Like the cheese isn't watery, it's like thick, but like light. Oh, it's so good. This is the mac and cheese that I like just love and it's like baked on top. And every time it goes by, I hear people screaming. And yeah, I was screaming at the top of my lungs the whole time. I was writing, it is incredible at night. You know the expression, it's like day and night? Well yeah, writing this day and night is like day and night. It is a completely different experience. When you are going through those turns and there is just wood around you, it looks like you are going into like the matrix. You're going into like a wormhole and you are just encased in it, going through and then you come out the other side and everything's happening so quickly and <laughs> You are just flying out of your seat over and over again. It is the most incredible feeling. Definitely one of the top coasters in Florida. It's tough because it's up there with Velocicoaster. Mako's still a forever favorite, uh, but I think those are the top three, definitely. And it just depends like what you like, which is one, two, and three. So let me know if you agree with me, if those are your top three in Florida, if you have a different ranking, because I'm curious to know like if that's, if that's a kind of a popular sentiment. All right, it's time for some sweets. This is like a build your own Sunday thing. Definitely all about that chocolate. You know I had to ask for more chocolate on there than that though, not just a drizzle, but that's fun. There's also a roving DJ, just, just a roving DJ. This is the festival garden area, so most festivals they have here, they decorate this and theme it and fill it with food and drinks, and it looks like they have opened it up for us too. And like I mentioned, here's the concert lineup for Food and Wine Festival. They've got Three Doors Down, Fab Four, an Eagles tribute band that's fun, Air Supply, really cool stuff. Oh, Walk the Moon. The festival pathway is so pretty with the string lights. Coaster Cocktails is back. They make specialty cocktails based on their coasters here. It's a beautiful view of Iron Gwazi from here. For so long, for the past few years, we have been looking at this view when we were here, just waiting for it to open, and it's finally officially open. They've got the Southern Kitchen booth back, seasonally inspired. This is cool too, there's a mural painting going on, and he is clearly painting the Iron Gwazi logo. Love seeing art at work. Now this back area, there's a festival field back here and they have used it for concerts and events. There was a stage back there. And so many of them, we've been here and sat again, staring up at Iron Gwazi, waiting for it to open. Let's see, can we get a view from here? No, but there was a better, but from like out there you can see it. And finally we can hear riders riding it. Such a good feeling to hear people riding it. It's open. So again, it has been open for pass holder previews and preview days, but now with those fireworks, it's open to the public. Oh my goodness, it's a beautiful plant being. <laughs> That's the coolest plant dance I've ever seen. <laughs> what a beautiful plant. Oh. They've got this really cool Iron Gwazi ice sculpture. It is dripping throughout the night, so it's like it's lasting through the heat. But it is so cool, so I had to show it before it melts. How cool is that? It goes right through it. <laughs> so neat. The excursion store is open and we've got Iron Gwazi merchandise. Oh my gosh. So this opening day shirt is extra cool because on the back it has the original Gwazi logo. Oh yeah, there it goes up the lift hill. 
it is you just go up so slow and then once you go down that drop it is like straight down and it's it just all happens so fast it's a whirlwind it's wonderful doing a fun 360 photo here which I just did or actually video should I say I hope mine looks cool I'm nervous ready for yours? yeah ready oh I'm so nervous okay, you're gonna be next okay <laughs> they were so they did so good everyone did so good today wow most people are shy Taking the glossy off. <laughs> oh that is funny <laughs> wow, that is cool. Oh my god, look at it flapping around. around, yeah. Cool. So besides the shop I showed you and I showed this store in my other Iron Guazi video, they do have Iron Guazi gifts with all the good stuff in here and the opening day shirt again. But in this store, they actually have hard hats. They have some purple hard hats. How cute is that? Whoa. That is $69.99, and it says limited edition on the side, so that's gonna be a hot commodity, I guess. And before we wrap up for the night, here's a quick rundown of the 2022 event series. Some of my favorite events going on here. Obviously, Howlow Scream, amazing. Summer nights, so much fun. Christmas Town, I love Christmas Town. And they included Iron Gwazi opening. So there you go, a lot to look forward to. And of course, thank you so much to Bush Gardens for having us out for this evening's event. Well, it's been a wild night, but I think that's gonna wrap it up for us. Actually, a wild day and night. And I can say wild because Busch Gardens is kind of also a zoo park. It's a beautiful park. We love coming out here, been coming here for years. We're annual pass holders, and I'll keep coming out and showing you all the cool events here. And now they've got a brand new, another world-class roller coaster, Florida's first. RMC coaster converted from a wooden dueling coaster into a hybrid roller coaster that is just an incredible experience. So if you like that sort of thing, if you like thrill rides, roller coasters, definitely you should come out and do it. Let me know if you plan to ride or conquer Iron Gwazi and also their food and wine festival is great. So we do plan to come back out for the food and wine festival once it's open. Um, I may do a video on it or I may just post about it on Instagram, so make sure you're following me over there too because I do post like bonus stuff and extra content over there. I hope you had a great time hanging out with us tonight and seeing some of what this park has to offer. This is a special event, but it also shows you just like what the park is like. We were here during the day too, and if you want to see more Bush Gardens, I've got plenty of videos of it up on my channel and there'll be more to come too. So thank you all once again for joining us. I'm sending you a ton of love. I'll see you for the next video. And until then, as always, stay enthused. Bye.